welcome back to my channel, Shakes Tarot. Yeah, as you can see, we're in a different environment. So, uh, yeah, your girl he wanted to do a video today. And, of course, it's going to be back to back to back. Y'all know how this goes. Today, we're going to talk about deities, right? Oh, my God. Deities, such a scary thing. I swear, colonizers have demonized so much, and everyone in general, anyways. So, we're going to talk about deities today. We're going to talk about, well, <laughs> Before we just get the whole summary, let's just let's go over and talk about the facts when it comes to deities, how to work with them, all this and that, how they set up in the belief system, blah 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 blah. Remember that at the end of the day, teach his own. If you're on this channel thinking that this is gonna be something else, once again, you are wrong. So, <laughs> so what are deities? So deities are like, you know. Oshun, if you practice, you know, over there with uh, African spirituality, Oshun, um, Yama, Yamaya, um, Legba, like all, all that stuff, hoodoo, voodoo, African spirituality. Uh, when it comes to Egyptian, to Kemeticism, which is what I practice, we have Haru, we have, oh my God, going blank, Ra, Isis, Mother Newt, Father Jeb, you know, um, and if you're in the, to the Christian way, then you have, um, I guess Mother Mary, uh, I'm not too deep in that, but Mother Mary, uh, St. Arthur, St. Joseph, and stuff like that. Now, of course, you can go by your definition in a way what deities are. I feel like deities and spirit guides are kind of the same thing that can be interchangeable, especially depending on what you practice and how you look at it. But I think deities and spirit guides are kind of the same thing because they don't seem to be really differentiated, okay? The girl been in the game for two years, and really, I don't really see a difference personally. Whatever you feel is what you feel. We ain't gonna fight about it, right? whatever don't come here and be like oh sean and them are not spirit god they got him right is then they got him that's what we're gonna leave it at as long as they helping at the end of the day that is what we're gonna say deities are okay <laughs> it's not gonna harm anybody it's not gonna hurt anybody and it's not misinformation so deities are just basically in my mind now to my perspective and it seems like a lot of people perspective but i can't speak for everyone this is how we'll break it down my belief system the creator god deities which is like, like I said, Yamaya, all that, whichever one you, you know, go with, Haru. Then we come down to the ancestors. And then we come down to you. So that is how it's usually set up. I, I notice most, most people go by. That is what I go by. Like I said, to each his own. Remember this throughout the whole video, to each his own. Because I'm not about to argue back with y'all, okay? <laughs> or anybody that is not subscribing and they come across this and they're going to argue. Sweetie, I'm going to heart your comment and keep moving. So, and I'm looking at my notes as I talk. Like I said, are they the same as guides? No and yes, depends, close and similarities. It really depends on what you believe in and what you practice and how y'all really break that down even more. But there's a lot of similarities, like I said. Usually they're not really differentiated too much. Um, now also, I will say the only way I can, I guess in a way, differentiate spirit guides is, is if some people do have like celebrities or other types of certain people that are their spirit guide depending on personal things could whether it be music whether it be dance whether it be um just whatever talents it could be so i will say that's where it differentiates a little bit there but i don't personally have a spirit guide i guess i will say i really just have my creator deities ancestors and like i said it's me so that's how i operate uh some people's spirit guides like i said could be somebody famous whatever the case may be okay <laughs> and then they have their deities on the side as well too so like i said to each his own so mm, not the same but the same similarities diff differentiates are deities bad no deities are not bad okay at first i used to think like that was a scary word and deities were just like girl don't you talk no deities don't you mess with no deities but let me tell you about deities they approach you <laughs> unprovoked they approach you okay and that's just from personal experience from like i said i've seen other people's experiences they approach you you can approach them but it's still in the sense they approach you and remind you deities are not god um they are not the creator okay so let's let's start there now for my side with kemeticism there's ranks things like that blah 
blah, 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 but they're still not God. You work side by side with DDs. DDs are your partners. They are your help. They're just a stronger help. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's just ranks to me. To me, it's just ranks. So DDs are not bad. They will approach you. Some will approach you unprovoked. Some will approach because you called. Um, but they're not bad. I mean, honestly, it's just a lot that we have to undo. A lot of brainwashing could be possibly the whitewashing for my people of color here. You know, so um, DDs are not a bad thing. Now, now, it's your DDs. If you're not practicing on the light side and you're practicing the dark side, it's to each his own. It just depends what you're doing, child. And I'm not going to tread that. I'm not going to step on your toes. I'm not going to do that to people because, you know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, we love and light over here, whatever the case may be. We straightforward, we mind our business. So it's all up to you, and that's your personal relationship with your DDs. Just like that's your personal relationship with God, that's your personal relationship with ancestors. That is your personal relationships. I just truly really don't come out here harming anybody or trying to use your DDs against someone unless they harm you. Point blank, weird, just like the ancestors. Um, how do you work with them? They just work, you know. You bring them offerings as well. You can set up a DD offer. Uh, 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 Yes, you can give them offers on their altar um, as well. Um, if you want to know about more about DDs and altars and stuff like that, like more DD altars, ancestors altars, check out my other videos. I literally just recently, like probably like a month ago, uploaded a video about altars. Um, so, yeah, it's not uh, bad to work with them. They will work with you. It depends on their characteristics as well. Um, some DDs can be very foot straight down some can be sweet you know it's just almost like you're dealing with different types of parents you know what i'm saying if that makes sense to y'all so it's like you know you got mother newt over here mother newt is very sweet she's well from my experience she's very sweet now she doesn't play either but she's very sweet and she will look out for you she is the mother but uh let's go mess with father jeb he's he's very nice but you know uh he's the father you know the typical <laughs> the typical way of a father would be you know what I'm saying and then we have like ices now ices now mother ices y'all if y'all know mother ices she don't play she is uh, she's a sweet woman too but she will put her foot down she she'll straighten you up so quick okay so there's just like different it's like more different mother and father figures um that are not your physical parents they're your spiritual parents you know so it's not bad to work with them they're just gonna keep you on straight just know when you're working with them you have to be consistent as you can whatever duties they tell you to do you have to do duties depend on what you got going on and depend on your personal relationship as well so it doesn't mean just because we both work with haru that you're going to be doing the same thing for her that i'm doing the same thing for haru or working with haru for him, right so working with them it comes with intricate things get whatever bibles and books and whatever you gotta get to basically get you on a journey to set you straight out and they'll lead you to them too as well personally they had led they led me to them even though i was on a search myself but you know it's get crazy <laughs> so working with them you can use offerings you can call them bells the way you call your ancestors is the same way that you'll call them now typically for the well especially for committicism we use statues and things like that i don't have any yet but you can use stuff like that you can use pictures um anything that usually attracts them you know what i'm saying so things that you know that will attract them and bring them there don't waste their time but if you bring in there and need some help you're gonna get that education that you need basically do they align with your beliefs do deities align with your beliefs in your culture now deities also do depend on your culture as well um for especially being uh, of course uh, african-american woman Typically, some people will think that I would work with African spirituality. Now, there is someone that dipped into there, but um, I also have <laughs> Cherokee in my blood uh, from my father's side, so that's also a mix. So I have a mix of I have a mix of three cultures, just about in mine. It's from my lineage, from my bloodline. So yeah, you know, it lines up. It just lines up crazy, but it lines up, and it also helped for me personally, it helped me connect more with God and what. Um, when I always, and maybe some people will relate, but there, there, there's a moment or even in your spiritual journey where some people like me, you had a disconnect. Like, yes, you believe in God, you know, there's God and you have your ancestors, but it just felt like something was in the middle missing and it happened to be my deities, my spirit guides. So, um, so do they align with my beliefs? Yes. Do they align with my culture? Yes. Um, you know, personally, if you know me, they definitely do align with your culture. They will align with you. They're you, you know what I'm saying? They're you passing it down that's that's really how it is so if it doesn't align with what you're doing or the culture and things like that then of course you might need to stop you might need to reevaluate 
you know, especially if you're not indigenous or black or something else, you might want to really evaluate. Unless, like I said, personal relationships, personal relationship. If somebody walk up on you, some deity walk up on you, then that's none of my business, okay? But like I said, if it doesn't align with your beliefs and who you are and what you're representing, you might not want to keep doing that, right? Because you don't want to let no false prophet now. False prophet. I don't want to be no false prophet myself, child. Guys to work with deities, like I said, just kind of, um... Do what they ask. It's not no obedient like or slave thing. That's definitely not. Um, there's just rules and regulations. So you know, of course, if you're new and you're coming from the typical could be Christianity or even anything else, you know, just Christianity is the easiest to call because I guess it's the you know the biggest religion, one of the biggest religions, and also yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, guys, with them, just work with them and do what you're supposed to do, and you won't have to worry about anything. So yeah so like comment and subscribe i hope this was helpful of course i got more videos coming but like comment and subscribe and um oh this was helpful if you have any questions and of course comment below and um i'll see you guys later peace